Welcome back. As the Omicron variant continues to dominate, we're seeing more cases, more closures, and more concern. For more on exactly what we're seeing here in our area, we welcome Kirby Kruger, the Director of Disease Control for the North Dakota Department of Health. Kirby, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me today. Now, Kirby, this time last week, there were 1,817 active cases of COVID here in North Dakota. Today, 2,942. Now, are those numbers from the holiday period, or has it spiked that fast? No, I think what we're starting to see here in North Dakota is, is the beginning of the emergence of Omicron. You know, we, we detected Omicron a couple weeks ago, uh, and there was a lull in testing over the holidays, and I think that that kept numbers low in North Dakota uh, with, as fewer people were testing around the holiday season. But now testing has picked up and, and, and positivity has picked up. And so what we're seeing now is the emergence of Omicron. And, and the manifestation of Omicron, of course, is that it is highly infectious. And so uh, other areas of the country that have experienced Omicron before we did have experienced these, these uh, sharp increases in cases. And, and that's what we're anticipating here in North Dakota as well. And the Omicron cases are less severe than the Delta cases, but more contagious. So with that in mind, Kirby, should we be monitoring hospital emissions more closely or the case count to get a sense of how we're doing? Well, you know, I think case counts are important, but you're, you're absolutely right. I think that um, hospitalizations and, and the impact on our health care capacity in North Dakota is, is a very important component of this and probably the most important. Um, and, and the good news is, is that, you know, there are the data that's coming out of several areas, you know, several countries uh, and several states in the United States is that Omicron does appear to be uh, less serious, that, you know, a, it has a smaller rate of hospitalizations compared to what Delta had. However, you know, even with the smaller rate of hospitalizations or lower rate of hospitalizations for uh, uh, Omicron, if cases increase, um, and, and cases triple or quadruple um, compared to what we had with Delta, that still creates a lot of stress for our healthcare facilities. And so I think that's going to be important to continue to monitor what's happening with our hospitalizations. And that is starting to increase as well in North Dakota. And I'm sure whoever has to make this decision or this point, I certainly don't envy them, and I don't think you wouldn't either. But are we getting closer to the point, Kirby, do you think, where we're going to have to acknowledge that we're going to have to live with COVID and all its variants uh, for a while? Well, I think COVID, the, the SARS-CoV-2 virus has demonstrated uh, very well that it's, it's capable of, of um, making changes and those changes are not always predictable. Uh, in fact, they're not very predictable at all. Uh, and I think that we're, this is something that we're just gonna be work dealing with, you know, and, and perhaps it will evolve into something like influenza where it becomes a seasonal illness, uh, it, but it may not. And so I think that uh, um, this is something that we're just always gonna be uh, having to monitor and having to work with, so. And Kirby, I was in another state recently and noticed long lines of people to get tested. Are we seeing those same long lines and wait times to get tested here in North Dakota? I haven't gotten any reports from our testing sites that there's long wait lines, but I do know that they are busy. And I do know that um, uh, our testing has really picked up since uh, the New Year's holiday has ended. And so, um, you know, people, we're encouraging people to get tested if they are symptomatic or if they've been named as a close contact or know that they are a close contact. Uh, we encourage them to, to seek that testing um, you know, because it is important, uh, and then to take the right actions, you know, if people who test positive should be isolating, and the people who are close contacts, they really should be uh, 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 doing the self-quarantine um, and uh, testing on that day five, so. Okay, Curry Kruger, thank you so much. We uh, wish you all the best. Thank you so much uh, for having me again today, and Happy New Year to all of you. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Next on KX.